today, I am SLP Bacalanco taking a Bachelor of Elementary Education, second year, section F. So, the topic that I will going to tackle is all about sexual and asexual reproduction of animals. So, let's go! Let's find out! Animals cannot live forever. Like humans, animals also need to reproduce. They have also their oral reproductive system that makes them able to do this process. So in this video, you will learn more about the fascinating ways by which animals reproduce. Are you ready? Let's go! So most animals can only produce a new individual when two parents are present. This is called sexual reproduction of animals. Frogs, chickens, cows, fish, dogs, and many other animals is produced by sexual reproduction. So sexual reproduction takes place when sex cells from two parents, animals, male and one female unite to form a new animal. When it's time to reproduce, the male dog gets very close to the female dog and puts sperm inside her body. The sperm fertilizes the eggs. Once the eggs are fertilized, they begin growing inside the female dog's body. So animals have sex organs that produce sex cells or gametes. These gametes contain information about the new organism. There are two types of sex cells or gametes, the egg cell for female and the sperm cell for males. Fertilization takes place when a sperm cell unites with the egg cell. The fertilized egg is called a zygote which develops into an embryo. The embryo undergoes continuous development until it eventually grows into a newborn animal. Let's talk about asexual reproduction in animals. You have learned about how most animals can reproduce with two parents. However, some animals can reproduce with just one parent only. A sexual reproduction does not need one male and one female. Parent to produce an offspring. A single parent organism simply makes identical copies of itself. So, asexual reproduction is the primary form of reproduction for single-celled organisms such as archaea and bacteria. Let's go to binary fission and budding. Binary fission and budding are some methods of asexual reproduction. So, let's go to binary fission. So, binary fission occurs so when no apparent animals divides itself into two. Each half grows into a new individual. Binary fission is also called splitting. Some very small animals and certain marine animals reproduce through this method. This allows them to quickly grow clusters of closely living groups or colonies. So, the sea anemone is able to reproduce by binary fission. It splits its polyp or body into halves, then it grows into two new sea anemone. So, sea anemone or actinaria is saltwater animal which is able to reproduce by binary fission. Then, let's go to budding. Budding happens when an outgrowth of the apparent animal develops into a new animal. Plants also develop a new plant through the process of budding. A bulge appears and the parent's body grows into a bud and eventually becomes a miniature copy of the parent. So, thank you for watching. So, hoping that you learned a lot from my video. So, once again, my topic is all about sexual and asexual reproduction of animals. Again, I am Edsel B. Bacalanco, B. 2F.